Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny. You guys already probably know that because I say the exact same thing at the start of every video. I'm sorry about that, it's just a habit. Um, today's video is going to be a first impressions testing Lottie London makeup. Um, it's not a full face, I just picked up three different products that I really wanted to try um, and they are the all about that base foundation stick, the got it covered concealer and my most favourite one that I'm so excited about, the Lolly London Shimmer Squad highlighter palette, whatever you want to call it. Um, super excited to try these, I bought them last night and I was it was so difficult for me to try and restrain myself from opening them and using them right there and then because that's usually what I do um yeah uh, spoiler alert I am impressed with these products and um, I won't say any more because I don't want you to ruin it totally for you guys but if you want to see what I think about these products then please keep watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have used Lolly London products before and what you think of them and don't forget to subscribe please 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 it really means a lot to me i've been on youtube two months now and i have almost 100 subscribers and i'm really excited about that and thank you everybody that has supported me so far i really appreciate it so i'm gonna stop going on now because if i don't this intro is going to be super long and that's boring nobody likes big long intros so let's just get straight into the video Alright guys, so I have already moisturised and primed my face. I've also went in and did a little bit of colour correcting because I broke out on my chin so bad. So I'm just going to get straight into it and I'm going to start by using the Lottie London All About That Face foundation stick. I'm really excited to try a foundation stick, I've never tried one before. And this claims that it is a full coverage matte foundation stick. And I'm really hoping that's true because, as I said, I have broke out and I need full coverage. So, this is what it looks like. You get this much in it. Mm, it's okay. I think this was about five or six pounds. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. But, yeah, I'm just going to go straight in and put this all over. I'm not really sure how much you're supposed to use. Um, I'm going to go straight in. It feels really creamy when you put it on your face. Mm. I, mean, I guess it's okay, but I don't think it's that full coverage. I mean, you can still see all my spots here. Um, but maybe I could try another layer. It doesn't seem too matte at the moment. It's not really clinging to my dry patches, so that's a good sign. Um, No, I think it's okay for now. I mean, it's not the worst foundation I've ever tried. I am a little bit shiny. So, I'm quickly going to just go in with my Rimmel Lasting Finish Concealer and cover up all these yucky spots. So, now that the foundation is complete and I've covered all my terrible imperfections today. I'm going to go in with the Lottie London Got It Covered concealer in the shade of shell. And yeah, <laughs> it's got like a little sponge applicator. I haven't used it yet. I just, when I was looking at them last night, I squeezed it and yeah, that's why it's all kind of looks like it's been used but I swear it hasn't so I'm just gonna squeeze some of that out and wow 
the same's a bit darker than my skin. Okay, <laughs> um, I'll just blend that out and see how it goes. Yeah, so that is definitely darker than my foundation. I was not expecting that. No, but as far as covering goes, I actually think it did a pretty good job. Quite like that, yeah. I like that. I'm just gonna like do this one just so that it's the same and then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me concealer to brighten that up a bit. I My next product that I'm gonna try is the Lottie London Shimmer Squad palette and um, I'm just gonna go and finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So I'm back, I have all of my makeup done except my highlighter. So we're just going to get straight into that and this is what it looks like. It's in a little box. Let's take it out. And this is what it looks like here. It's a little magnetic type packaging. And then on the, this, is what the, uh, <laughs> this is what the back looks like. And for the bit that you all want to see. Ooh, this is the highlight. I've already swatched them as you can see. I just swatched them on my fingers and there's a little mirror with it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, look, they're so pretty. Ooh. So I'll do a quick swatch of them all for you now. Um, I'm just going to go in with this shade. And that's what it looks like on the finger. And then on my hand, I don't think that, yeah, oh, there it is there, and then, I'll, oh by the way that shade's called the good girl, and then I'll go in with this one, this is the darkest colour in the palette, and it is called Fleur, and that's what it looks like on my finger, it's kind of like a, bronzy gold color and then we'll go in with this shade down here and that is called the queen bee and that's what it looks like on my finger it's kind of similar to the good girl there it is there this is it right here And last but not least, we'll go in and swatch this br or brown <laughs> white shade here called the Troublemaker. Oh, that's what it looks like on my finger. Super white. These are quite. Um, they don't. This is it here. They don't feel very buttery as such. They're very powdery, but I don't mind that. So. I think I might go with Troublemaker. Yeah. Why not? And I'm going to use my Real Techniques fan brush for this. Oh, that's very icy. Mmm, I like that. Oh, that looks so pretty. Yep, I am in love. Super impressed with this little palette. I think the Troublemaker shade is just beautiful. I prefer icy, cool tone um, highlighters to warm tone and you know those goldy shades. That's all the products that I have to 
try out for you guys today. So just a quick overview. The, the stick con So the foundation stick, um, all about that base. I forgot to tell you guys what shade it was actually. It's toasted almond. And I'm actually really impressed with the colour match. Like, for once I haven't had to put foundation on my neck to match the colour of my face. I really, really do like the, the match. That's just spot on, completely perfect. I haven't found a foundation that is that perfect in a match in a long time. Um, as for how it looks, um, I wasn't sure about the foundation when I first put it on. It definitely is not full coverage for me anyway. I don't know if that's just because my skin is really bad at the minute with breakouts. Um, it might be, but it does claim that it's full coverage. And I personally don't think it is. I think it is medium coverage. You can definitely build it up. I think um, it says it's matte um, before I powdered my face it was quite oily and shiny looking it feels a little bit sticky um, just around here I don't think I powdered very well there because my forehead doesn't feel that sticky um, it does look matte now that I powdered it, it doesn't, it doesn't actually feel too drying and it doesn't look drying on my skin. It doesn't cling to any dry spots on my face, which is a really, really good thing. I'm actually quite impressed with it. Like I, I do like it. Um, yeah, I think if you guys are looking for a new foundation that is relatively good coverage I would suggest this foundation so far so good this just actually makes my skin look quite flawless if I have to say so myself sorry I keep looking at it like up close because I'm talking about it and I just want to give like an honest review Um, no I really really do like it I haven't got much bad stuff to say about it but this is kind of what it looks like up close You can see my wrinkle, but yeah, I'm impressed with that foundation. I really am. I think it was a good buy. So next off, the concealer. Um, as you guys know, it's too dark for me, which is weird because when I swatched it in Superdrug, it seemed light enough. It seemed like it was lighter than the foundation, which is strange. So I don't think the color is. I don't think it's true to color until you actually put it on your face. I think it's okay coverage. Um, it's still not as good as my collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Um, I think it is good. And I definitely think I'll go and buy the right shade the next time I'm close to Superdrug. Um, and that's all I really have to say about that. I am disappointed that it didn't turn out to be the proper color. Because I can't return it now. I've used it which is... A bummer but yeah that's all I really have to say about the concealer I can't say much because it wasn't the right shade and um, so moving on then to last but not least the shimmer squad palette I love it I think it is amazing it is actually the first highlighter that I've bought in about a year and um, super impressed with it the colors are really pigmented as you can see I really really like them. I like the colours. Um, I'm not sure I'll be using this colour um, the flirt anytime soon. I think it's just a bit too dark for me. Um, but yeah, I'm just, overall I'm really happy with it. And that's all really I've got to say. I don't have much more to say because I really like it. Um, I really do suggest that if you want to get a reasonable priced highlighter, you should totally go for this Lottie London Shimmer Squad. Um, yeah, so that's all I have to say about that. Um, overall, the products that I've tried today, I am impressed. I actually am. It's the first time I've ever tried Lottie London. And yeah, I'll definitely be going back and having a look at more of their products. 
Um, I am quite impressed with this foundation stick. I am, I'm not gonna lie. So that's it for now. If there are any other like mega brands you guys want me to review for you, please let me know. I will be happy to do that. I'm all about trying different things. And that's it for now. Bye.